Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Uh, how to identify the series in statistics? Individual series, discrete series, continuous series. Three series are there. We have done lots of problems in mean, median, mode, quartal deviation, mean deviation, standard deviation, skewness, etc. etc. Many problems we have done. But still many people are confused. How to identify the series? Very simple, I'll tell you. Just focus. Two, three minutes, I'll explain. First, number one, individual series. How do we identify? Suppose the uh, information is given us like this. Uh, marks of marks of 10 students. 10 students. So, student number A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. These are the students. Students' names or you can say roll numbers or anything. Their marks are given to us. Marks are like this. 10, 20, 60, 45, 35, 65, 80, 90, 95 and 70. Their marks are given like this. Here, how many students are there? 10 students. Each student marks are given to us. This is individual series. What series it is? Individual. If I tell you discrete series, you will come to know the difference between individual and discrete series. Individual series, how many students are there? 10 students. Each student marks are given. The same example will go to the uh, discrete series. So, if it is discrete series, in discrete series, marks will be given to you. Say marks, marks suppose say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So, like marks are given. And along with this marks, marks means this is x. And x is given to us. Along with x, frequency is also given. Frequency. Frequency means number of students. Number of students is we say it as a frequency. 10 marks, how many students got? Say 3 members got 3. 20 marks, how many students got? Say 8. And 30, may 6, 40, 7, 50, 18, like number. How many students got this much of marks? 18, 20, 25, 16, 17. And 3. It's like this. Marks and how many students got each marks? 10 marks got 3 students. 20 marks, 8 students got it. When marks and frequency is given. Marks means x and frequency is given. Then that is discrete series. In individual series, did you find number of students? Frequency was given? No. When frequency was not given, only simply the marks, then that is individual series. In individual series, n, what is n? n means number of observations. How many members are there? 10 members are there. Now, here it comes to n is 10. How many students? 10. Number of observations are 10. Now, here in discrete series, n is total of the frequency. So, this total will be the for example, if it is 100 or otherwise 90 students are there, don't calculate, simply roughly I am telling you. If this, if example, if this total is 90, then frequency is, n is 90. Total of the frequency is 90. Total of the number of the students means you, if you total it, you will get it. So, this is about discrete series. Now, let us go to the continuous series. Continuous series, how do you identify? In continuous series, marks is given in class interval. 
how i'll explain here marks are 10 marks 20 marks simply this said now 10 0 to 10 marks how many got like this class interval 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 like this 30 to 40 40 to 50 so let me finish it it fast so marks marks are given 0 to 10 in between this how many students got this mark 0 to 5 maybe 5 4 even 10 9 0 all these marks whoever gets so they'll be in this category 0 to 10 so how many students got this category for example same one will take 3 8 6 7 18 20 25 16 seventeen 3 in continuous series 0 to 10 how many students got three members got in between this class interval and in the same way 10 to 20 how many students are there eight so whenever this x this is x na no? whenever x is in class interval 0 to 10 10 to 20 like this then that is continuous series individual series we have only x no frequency no frequency and discrete series we have x with the frequency continuous series x with the frequency but x is in class interval x is in class interval then it is continuous series very easy to identify whenever in the exam whenever in any problem if it is given to calculate your quarter deviation quartile deviation or otherwise skewness or mere median more first to see that what series it is search for the frequency frequency is given okay then search for the x x is in single digit or class interval single digit means discrete series class interval means continuous series where frequency is not at all given frequency is not there only one single line marks are there then it is individual series am i clear so many problems many uh, topics i have covered from the statistics one which will be useful for all the students bcom bba mba ca cs cma any student please know this basic thing so then the rest of the problems are it's already there in our cha channel and formulas also separately i have prepared one videos one video for for the formulas how to remember it please go ahead learn well and stay connected don't forget to share this videos good luck